Archie Rose here, and today we're going to be talking about the opening paper of the book Belonging Again called The Legitimization Crisis of Our Lives. Uh, the title is a reference to the Habermas book, which really is talking about the threat in the West of political institutions, uh, corporations, uh, societies, experts, all these different things losing legitimacy which means that we just don't trust them, frankly, and we don't necessarily believe anymore that they know what's best or that they know what they're doing. Um, it's almost like that Marx idea that everything solid melts into air, <laughs> you know, that everything now uh, just sort of doesn't feel like we can necessarily take it as given, and given is a very important word in the Belonging Again series. James Joyce had this nice phrase in his short story, The Dead, where he referred to us as a thought-tormented age. And indeed, once you lose legitimacy, once you can't trust the media, once you can't trust uh, uh, politics, the president, whatever, then you, you have to think a lot because you, you really have to kind of fill the space. If the expert is dead, then the space has to be filled. It's kind of that idea that if God is dead, something has to fill the space. I can't remember who said that. Um, but it's this idea now that like uh, it, it's not possible for us to be an expert in everything, which is kind of the problem, and uh, we can't say be an expert in chemistry, an expert in physics, an expert on the economy, all these things at once. So we have to rely on authority, but if we can't trust any of the authority because the legitimate legitimacy is gone, then we're going to try to have to think about everything. We can't rely or rest on um, anything, and this, of course, is an impossible ta task precisely because we must ultimately rely on some authorities. Um, so this really dramatically increases existential anxiety. Um, and there's this idea here from, I guess, uh, James Hunter in a conversation with David Brooks in 2016, where he says, to make a very long, uh, very long story short, under the conditions of modernity and late modernity, the background of stable institutional patterns is receding and the foreground of choice is growing. And what he means by that is that as all these uh, givens uh, fall apart, as institutions lose legitimacy, that also at the same time though gives us more freedom because we're not bound by the, these authorities, we can do whatever we like. But as freedom increases, so increases responsibility and possibility. And there's actually a point where freedom becomes overwhelming. It's existentially burdensome. And Eric Fromm in his book Escape from Freedom is quite good, for, good with that. So today we're all condemned to be free. And I think Berger has this line where he says, we, um, we're all condemned to be existentialists because those things all uh, follow. And, uh, and although relativism liberates, uh, you know, the, uh, the breakdown of these institutions and givens, uh, there's a liberation there. The resulting liberty, liberty can be quite um, painful. People can then seek liber liberation from relativism, and I think that's a Peter Berger idea. So then you get this sort of uh, swinging pendulum. And the problem, of course, as we talk about extensively in Belonging Again, is under these ex existentially um, destabilizing conditions, totalitarianism becomes very, very appealing. Um, and then, of course, there's the problem, uh, to allude to the paper, self delusion, the tortness of evidence, and the paradox of judgment, that if you think someone's crazy, there's nothing they can do to prove to you they're not crazy. That's the rose hand experiment. Um, it, it, it's unfalsifiable. Well, in the same way, once institu institutions lose trust, uh, once we decide the experts don't know what they're doing, there's literally nothing they can do. Uh, they cannot force us to uh, give them that legitimacy and authority back. Uh, we can always just push the bar. We can always doubt. We can always find reason not to give it back. So once you lose this uh, legitimacy in all these different areas, uh, it's incredibly difficult to get it back. And so it goes with our own beliefs. Once it's not uh, given that Christianity is true, once it's not given that atheism is true, once it's not given um, that we are making a good choice uh, in choosing where to live, there's really nothing we can ever do in order to res to restore a sense of stability to ourselves. Uh, we can always question. We can always live in a state of doubt. So I think James Joyce is correct. We are a um, thought-tormented age, and although the loss of givens means we don't uh, we have more freedom, uh, it also puts us in a situation where we feel like we have to reinvent the social order and indeed the world itself every time we interact with other human beings. That's the Arnold Gellion uh, line. Uh, so that so this is very difficult, but this is the burden of freedom. But of course, what's the opposite of freedom? Uh, slavery or being under a totalitarian dictator. And so here we suggest that life is so much uh, is about trade-offs more than problems and solutions. But how exactly do we find that balance? 
well, we'll have to explore belonging again for more. And you can find more at ogrose.com. And please uh, check us out on YouTube. Subscribe. It really helps. And thank you for your time.